What's up, y'all? Today, I want to talk about hunger. And I'm not trying to be cheesy. I'm talking about both physical hunger and literal hunger and how they're linked. So essentially, a lot of people out there, they think that the concept of fasting just means skipping breakfast, doing intermittent fasting, just not having lunch, not having breakfast. But in reality, the reason why that is considered hard and something special for most people is simply because they are still not in pure full ketosis, even if they're doing a keto diet. They are not in pure zero carb ketosis if they are not completely cutting out all plant matter whatsoever. If you have meat plus some spinach, that bit of carbs, that raw milk, something that you add in, that will keep you from producing tons more ketones to the point where your brain is just at a different state. All mammals, whether it be humans, freaking hippos are born in a state of ketosis you can look this up and even when when little children are breastfed just breast milk they stay in ketosis our brains grow in ketosis now while our brains grow in ketosis and we have higher mental clarity in ketosis like i i went from being stupid and getting c's in school to being able to be you know top of my class graduate from one of the top 10 universities in this country after I transferred post carnivore, of course. I was able to go from being an idiot, you know, on a standard diet, not even that bad of a diet. I ate clean, I ate chicken and rice, all that stuff. But when I went full carnivore and tapped into full ketosis, which most keto dieters never have, I transformed both my body and my brain, like I keep telling you guys. But the thing is, is that this is also metaphorical, aside from the biological side of things. When you are truly hungry, and you truly have the need to try, you will try and you will succeed. Persistence loves success. If you are persistent, and if you try every single day, at some, if you have a goal, let's say you want to be a doctor, let's say. If you truly want to be a doctor, you study as hard as possible. Maybe you don't even get into medical school the first time. If you truly want it, you will keep applying over and over and over and over again. Figure out what's wrong with your application. Fix it over time. And maybe it'll take you five years when some people get in in one year. You'll still get in because you're persistent and you're doing the right things. And you're making changes. You're making sure that you are growing because you were hungry and you want it. Now apply this to your body. If you're in a constant fed state, let's say you're eating three times a day, let's say you're eating you know, food with, with carbs and with plant matter in it, you're putting your body into a fed state, a fed state in which you simply don't have any ancestral reason to chase your goals. Think about it. Your ancestors, they were propelled to go out and survive, to get a kill, to get a you know, a, a gazelle or something, hunted down. Once they got that gazelle, you know, they were good for a little bit. They usually would lay down, they would chill, they would digest, and then go about their day afterwards. But it wouldn't be until later when they were hungry again that their drive would be even higher. Growth hormone goes up by, I think like five, 10 X when you're in fasting state. Yes, your cortisol goes up a little bit, but nowhere near as much as it goes up when you're in a constant inflamed stress state from consuming all of these plant matters, oxalates, you know, all these inflammatory compounds that are just bombarding your body three times a day on a standard diet. Now, I am telling you all this because if you truly use the state of hunger in terms of both fasting, and by fasting I usually mean like, you know, one meal a day, I recommend not doing that until you're more acclimated to carnivore, like I tell a lot of my clients. But this will teach you about the human brain. Like if you are able to grasp biologically that you need to be in a state of progression and chasing forward towards the image that you have in your head, towards the goal that you have. Being in a state where you actually need to achieve, you have no choice but to succeed. You have no choice to lose the weight. You have no choice but to gain the muscle if you're focused on it. 
food and being ultra fed all the time is another distraction. Just like how if you, that, back to that example of someone trying to be a doctor, if they truly wanted to be a doctor, they wouldn't be distracted by other things. They wouldn't three times a day, you know, look at stuff on the internet as I'm sure you guys are talking about. They wouldn't, you know, just distract themselves and instantly gratify themselves, which is what a lot of people do with food. And the thing is when you're eating properly, when you're eating food that our ancestors had prior to agriculture, you don't really view food that way. You view it as delicious and something that you want, but once you have it, you're satiated and you're ready to go back to whatever you have to do. So if you have a job, or if you have a business that you're working on or anything where you find yourself procrastinating, you find yourself not getting stuff done, you know, immediately you find yourself getting annoyed with the work you have to do and then taking a break to scroll on your phone, it might be a biological thing as well. So you might want to try one meal a day. You might want to try putting yourself into a semi-fasted state so that your elevated ketones replace the buzz of any caffeine, any kind of stimulus to the point where you are in our primal, and as cheesy it is to use the word primal after people like Liver King have ruined that term, when you are put into our ancestral nature, which is to chase what we need to get done in order to survive. And their instance, it was food. But if you're able to manipulate your biology to the point where you can just tap into that mode, where you have this relentless drive as if you're on caffeine that simply doesn't wear off it's beautiful that's probably what's holding you back because when i lived like most of the people out there and tracked my macros and ate carbs and ate plants and everything even when i was just eating meat plus greens i still felt like garbage i couldn't focus i thought i had adhd i didn't <laughs> i just i just i just didn't have the biology that our ancestors did for millennia prior to ten thousand years ago ten thousand years ago is nothing in the grand scheme of our species. And if you think that how people eat today is normal and what everybody's done forever, in the grand scheme of things, it's new. For most of our ancestry, human beings, one, did not have access to edible plants 99% of the time. And two, they were not constantly eating. They were feasting, and then they wouldn't need food after they were done feasting. It would be a while. They would have time to focus on other things. They would have time to eventually build civilization. But of course, once that happened, our brains shrank and, you know, problems came with that as well. But that doesn't change the fact that your anatomy, your biology, no matter where you're from, is the exact same as those ancestors that had hyper laser focus when they were in that state. Fasting just automatically puts you in low, in like a flow state, essentially. So stop watching all those goofy videos. They're like, how to get in the flow state? Bro, <laughs> stop stuffing your face. Eat some meat so that you don't need to go stuff your face every three hours. So I'm just telling you guys, anybody can do this. I was fat and stupid, literally, literally. I was failing out of classes. And then I was able to go to a school that even the smartest kids at my high school were not able to get into. They would be able to get in there if they were operating at the mental function that humans are meant to, which I keep trying to tell you guys. You can only get there by training properly, dieting properly. And when you do both of those properly, they're enjoyable, they're sustainable. It's all you want to do. I love it so much, I can't help but tell the world. And even when it comes to, you know, the high paying finance job I have, I, I can't risk my reputation with investors, I can't show my face on Google, I'm not gonna let that stop me. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that stop me from sharing what changed my entire reality. Like, it, you guys might think I'm just zealous about this, but as soon as you try it, if you sit down and you do nothing but beef and eggs for the next month, I guarantee you, if you're one of those people that thinks you have ADHD or anything like that, yeah, you won't be in that state for long. You'll probably be making more money. You'll probably be able to focus on more of your tasks that you have to do. You won't be procrastinating. And as a result, you'll have more free time to do the things that you love to do, to spend time with your family, with your loved ones. 
and hopefully share the same ideas here. Same, spread the, the same blessings that I got from God here. This diet, this lifestyle was an answered prayer. And I have to tell people about that or else I am doing God a disservice. So ask yourself, are you spending your days just self-gratifying, whether it be with food or with stuff on the internet, as I keep referring to, which a lot of young men deal with? Are you spending your days gratifying yourself, or are you spending your days using the time that God has blessed you with for the benefit of those around you? Think about that for a second. And if you want to optimize the amount of time that you have, the amount of time you are able to use and exert focus throughout that entire period of time, I am telling you that true ketosis, not keto diet ketosis, but true ketosis is exactly how you reach that state. I want this for all of you guys. You just, I put, I'm going to put the link to that video that I made, my first video on YouTube where I go through 45 minutes long exactly how to do all this, how I transform my body, how I train and eat the way that humans are meant to, as I keep telling you all. So I'll put that link down in the description. If you have not watched it already, go ahead and watch the whole thing. Don't, don't mean scroll, don't go watch something else. Watch it all the way through if you have not. And when you're done, drop a comment. Let me know how you feel about it. Tell me whether or not you want to do this. Tell me whether or not you want to give us a try or whether or not chances are you have some kind of cope or some kind of reason why you shouldn't do it. Because most people, they just try to come up with reasons why they don't want to do the hard thing. Because this is hard for the first month or two months at most. But once your mitochondria adapt, once you're you know fully in that state that our ancestors grew up in, hey, this is easy. <laughs> I love this stuff, man. So, yeah, I just want to share this with y'all because I, I could never have imagined that I'd be living this existence, this life, this, this feeling of purpose and fulfillment before I did all of this, before when I was addicted to stimulants, when I was addicted to other substances and just letting life pass me by. I don't want that for you guys. So lock in, lock in. Take this stuff seriously. Give it a try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You'll be fine. But if it does work, your whole reality will change. God bless you all. Have a great week. Hit me up if you got any questions. Peace.